guys, it's under. So today I want to have a little look at a new plugin with you. In the French, it'd be Grayon, but we'll say it as Gralion for now. And it is a vocal changer plugin. And the reason I wanted to show you this is there's a free version of it. And it is also a paid version that gives you a lot more functionality than what you already have inside Logic. So as you can see, I've got the Logic pitch correction up here next to it. And this is a snip from the track that I use in the intro for a lot of the Logic training videos, where I've just used a vocal sample, which is this, which is completely out of key with the track that it's actually in. So if we play it, it sounded like this. And that's awful. It doesn't work at all with that piece of music. However, if we put the pitch correction in and I've put it really harsh, it gives us a cool effect, but it also works musically. However, what the pitch correction in Logic can do is quite limited. Now you do have flex pitch, but that is not automated. It requires you to go in and manually each edit each note. And this allows you to just diverse a little bit further on. So I thought I'd just go over what we can do with it and I'll link you down in the description at the free version. So if this video is helpful for you, please bash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you've got any questions, throw them in the comments down below. So what I've done here is just gone by ear mainly, but mimicked a similar setting to the pitch correction thing I have set up here with Logic's one. So we we'll disable that and we'll enable this one. And let's have a listen. That's not quite right, but we've got a lot more scope of things we can edit in here. So firstly, we can choose an input. We can have the input source be left or right, or if it's stereo audio, we can put it in the middle and that will give us a combination of the two as the detail from what it will combine and then pitch correct. We then have the pitch tracking mod here and it uh, gives us ring or frequency shift and we can do that octave up and fifth and octave up and fifth dependent on the octave range of the vocal. Now for this particular vocal it's quite a low tone male vocal so I've dropped it down one. By default it's going to be on zero and it will also be on plus one. Um, you have a lot more scope in other plugins to go in between but this is just going to take us to the middle note of those three octave ranges which is plenty enough for a vocal track. Lead voice is then the main vocal that's being corrected coming through and we can just adjust that in level and there's also a low cut introduced which is quite useful so we can just take out some low end rumble if we are processing it that way and it requires that on this particular track I don't have that at all it was a good vocal sample already treated in such a way we've then got a bit crusher which gives us some quantize and some reduce which is going to reduce our bit depth and there's some nice effects we can add in Give us some low quality style sounds. Now notice this area in the middle is slightly different to what we'd use. It's got the circle of fifths set up and it's showing us a oscilloscope of the audio and then it will show us the correction it's bouncing to on these different notes here. We've then got output, dry mix, and we can boost the dry level if we want. However, I've got this set to fully wet because it is so out of tune that it would sound like this. And that just doesn't work for what we want. Now, by default, down the bottom here, all the keys are enabled. And one thing I will say that's not... Um, as intuitive as most others, you can't just choose your key range. So for example, if we bring up the pitch corrector here, we can see that we're in G and we're in a major pentatonic and that includes the D, E, G, A and B keys. So you have to manually 
disable the keys that aren't going to be used here, which is going to be all the sharps, C and F. And then that gives us the G pentatonic here, which as you can see, also highlights on the circle of fifths and you can see the five notes being used in that pentatonic scale. The correction amount as well will not be uh, set to full by default, it'll almost be off. And you want that to be right the way on, so it's gonna pull the note right into that area. That works a lot with the snap range here, and you can see it changes the color of the notes, and this is how accurately it snaps to that note. Now I've got it maxed out here, because on here was also having the response really quick and it's snapping right into that um, maximum frequency point there it can as quickly as possible. So we've also got that maximum correction on the snap response. Smooth is set to fast, so we're trying to get a similar response there. Say my name aloud. Talking to me That's not quite right. I think we're not even going to try and preserve formants here. Say my name aloud. Talking to me through him. Say my name aloud. Talking to me through him. Say my name aloud. Talking to me through him. Say my name aloud. Quite nice there with the formants around the 77% and just a little bit of the lower fifths introduced as well. That gives us a different sound to the pitch correction, which is much more robotic. This is a lot subtler. And it wouldn't work as well for this really harsh type if you're trying to get that really robotic T Pain effect style sound. but it does give us a lot more scope in what we can do in a subtly adjusting a vocal on the fly. It could also be very useful if you are singing and you want to be able to hear back live how this is going to be adjusted and just have a little bit of correction in there just to help your vocal maintain while you're recording your own vocals rather than the correcting them then in post. But it's a useful little plugin. There is a free version available and there is also a paid version that has all the extra features that I've just shown as well introduced. Uh, it's very cheap, so it's worth going and grabbing the free version, just giving it a try. It gives you some extra scope into pitch correction without needing to purchase anything extra. Hope the video has been helpful for you guys. I will see you on the next one.